Hello there, welcome back to Daniel Sackworld on YouTube, Medium and DanielRussell.tech. So for today's video I want to take a look at how to uh, set a good blue light filtering setting for you um, if you're using Linux Ubuntu and using a tool called uh, Redshift. So Redshift is really, really important. Um, I, I'm currently recording this at about 5 a.m. local time. Don't ask me why I'm up at this time. And the first thing I thought when I turned on my computer was how incredibly bright it was. So um, I decided to play around with my settings a little bit. Now basically, um, Redshift is a predominantly a command line interface, uh, which is why I have forgotten the commands and why I made this uh, documentation on GitHub. And it's also got a little um, notification area. It's not quite a full-fledged GUI. It just has a uh, notification area icon and that kind of just runs it on startup and lets you see what the current setting is but I don't really even call it a full GUI because you can't even do something as basic as set the color temperature with it so very much in order to use Redshift you need to uh, know how to play around with the command line interface CLI so that's what I'm going to show you today um, now basically the ideal way to run Redshift, uh, put it as a startup script on your computer or install Redshift. And if you have, I, can't, I don't have the notification icon on this screen I'm recording on here in the center, uh, but there's a little enable button there and uh, you can use that to start it up automatically on startup. Um, you can additionally, um, that will just create and that if you go in through, I'm just gonna bring this over here actually. If you're using, I'm using LXDE, and you can see that after you install Redshift, is uh, the GTK, the icon, it has a little button here for installing that. So once that's turned on, Redshift will run. Alternatively, you could create a manual auto start entry um, in which you could uh, specify the settings, but the, the proper way to use it, or the kind of ideal way, is to apply your settings into this configuration file called redshift.conf. Mine is really, really minimal here. I just have my daytime temperature sent, set in Kelvin, my nighttime temperature, um, and my location. And these are kind of the essential things. So that's my latitude and my longitude approximately. Um, now, that's, that's fine and that works, but occasionally I want to adjust how bright the day setting is and how dark the night setting is. So how to do that. So firstly, what I would recommend uh, is just quickly, now I've already done this, but um, just make sure Redshift isn't running and that'll forcibly shut down um, the program. Okay, so after doing that, the next thing you can do is also to clear out Redshift. So basically the way to re reset Redshift is Redshift minus X and that'll take off the uh, filtering, any filtering that's been applied whether through a previous command or through the uh, GUI running in the background. So that's a very important command, redshift minus X. I hope and I expect that the um, different filtering is gonna be obvious uh, on the screen recording. Um, if it's not, then uh, just trust me that now my screen is very, very bright. Then in order to apply a temperature, it's redshift minus O. And I presume Redshift has a manual, I'm just going to call this up, it indeed does have a man. So if you ever need to reference the commands, um, you can do this over here. So you can see minus O uh, temp one shot manual mode for setting color temperature. Use this with the minus P option to clear the existing gamma ramps before applying the new color temperature. Okay, now in order to set a color temperature, you want to go for red shift minus O and then the temperature. So I'm going to go for, let's say 4500. And you'll see that my screen brightness has, uh, the filtering has uh, brought the screen temperature down to 4500 Kelvin. Now, um, what you can do to reset it is you can use Redshift minus X or you can use minus P to clear out, minus O to set the new temperature. Let's bring it up to 5000, let's say. And there we have it at 5000. So whether you use, so I'm just gonna do this again, Redshift minus X, that's gonna clear us out red shift uh, minus oh let's bring it down to 3000 and whether you then if you want to bring it up if you want to use red shift minus x or red shift minus p minus o capital p capital o then the new temperature it doesn't really matter which one you want to do um, and that's basically the way i you know i just take a look at the screen see if that's workable for me and i find this this filtering is too much like if you go down all the way to let's say uh, minus p minus o 
1000 we're going to get extremely extremely red i'm just going to clear that out now um and then i basically determine what's best for me and then i set this in the configuration file so that i have the uh, day and night temperatures so that's good but it is also handy to you know know how to use the command line tool in order to manually adjust the temperature or you can just um, manually adjust it uh, as you wish um, every time you run the system um, you know there's nothing stopping you just manually running redshift every time you use your computer just so that you can uh, always choose the uh, color temperature that really suits you best Hope this has been useful. Uh, feel free to get in touch. Um, DanielRosehill.co.il. There's a contact form up on that page. Have a great day.